Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. So today we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about uh, input and basically not input but output and formatting the output. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few new concepts that we're gonna go over. First of all, you have, oh, where's my mouse? There it is. You know, there's this new thing on Macs where you move your mouse and apparently it enlarges. So if you, in case you lose your mouse pointer on the screen, you can actually find it. I never thought I would ever need that, but here was a moment where that would have been useful. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and use std colon colon cout and let's use our insertion operator and type in 2000 and I'm pretty sure it's 16. Yes, it is 16 for crying out loud. It is because it says in the bottom right corner. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue. We're going to open up quote marks, press space here, type in is today's uh, year. And we're going to put a dot there. And we're going to say again, we're going to use the insertion operator again and type in std colon colon and L. Now and L means end line. It adds a new line after the output. Why do we need this? Well, have a look, have a look at this. Well, we're just gonna, let's go ahead and copy this part. I'm a, I'm a really lazy typer. So everything that I can like copy, I'll, I'll like basically just copy it and reuse it for my own code. But maybe not the best of practices for you at the very beginning. So this is today's month. I'm pretty sure this is not today's month. In fact, I am actually certain now that I look at the date down below, but in my notes, it is the today's month. Okay, now we're gonna do this again and type in std colon colon and L. And we need a semicolon at the end here and a semicolon at the end here. These are line terminators and type in std colon colon. I'm gonna just type in C out. I would want to get a full date out of this. So insertion, uh, what day is it today? 16th, apparently it is 16th. I'm very bad with time and dates, etc. I pretty much have no concept of time or anything like that. Never understood it really. Again, we shall type in the insertion operators here, std, and L. So if we print this out, each one of these lines will go into a new line, which might seem very natural to you. But let me show you something. So if I run it, build it and run it, you see everything you have 2016 is today's year, three, uh, well, what? Yeah, third is today's month and 16th is today's day. However, if I did not have endl at the end of every line, so we can just comment about, I'll explain the comments uh, in a moment. Well, not here. You can just place a, place a line terminator here and slash slash here. You can do the same thing here. Just place a line ending here and slash slash here. Okay, so now let's run the program. Ah, what is this? 2016 is today's year. Third is today's month. And 16th is today's day. So the endl at the bottom doesn't really matter, but the other ones do. Why? Well, it doesn't matter that all these things are in different lines. The computer doesn't care. In fact, it couldn't care less. Unless you tell it to actually print something in the new line, everything's gonna get printed in the very same line. The last endl here, the last endl, it pretty much just serves to tell you that the, whatever comes afterwards shall be printed into the in the new line. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's remove this. Keep that in mind. The computer doesn't care how you order it. The computer cares what you tell it and how how you tell it to order things, how you tell it to order things around. So. Uh, let's take a look at another example. So there, were, there are 
various modes and methods of formatting this. You can take a look at it on the net as well. Or in, and you can ask questions in the course itself in the discussion section. There is always somebody from the tech support to provide answers for you there. But in general, you can do stuff like this. So you can, you see it says here C out, and then we can insert something here. We can say std colon colon set width. And I don't know, we can set width to be five five positions. And let's go ahead and put those five positions in each one of these. So control C. Well, actually, need to have need an insertion operator here. So we are going to effectively copy this in order to reuse the code. Space and down here as well. Space. There we go. So uh, it says here set width that it needs to that this first the 2016 in total is going to occupy five positions so you're going to see one space here in front here you're going to see four spaces in front and here you're going to see three spaces in front when it gets printed out onto the screen so let's go ahead and press Control s to save it and then let's build and run it there seems to be a problem here in this line oh well no big deal Ah, right. Of course. Now you see, this is a typical error that people get. They forget to, I don't know, include a certain library. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and include, well, I've forgotten it, but it's a, it's actually a good thing in spite of what you might say. Include. So if you forget something, it doesn't matter. It's gonna tell you. It says error down here in the console place. It's kind of difficult to see it down here. But try to read these errors. Try to read it where it says it says it's not a member of STD. Hmm, okay. Well, probably because we didn't include the library up here. So I o we will get to the debugging part where I will where the debugging process will be explained in great detail. What you need to look for, how you need to read it, how you need to read the errors, etc. What something means, what the, where the errors are most likely to be found, what sort of errors can you expect, etc. So we will we will deal with that in a completely separate section. But for the time being, just uh, if you want to pay a little bit of attention down there, I will of course enlarge it when we get to that section. So if you type in IO manip, so input output manip, man, manipulate, and if we press Control S and if we run this again, you see it's going to work without any problems of whatsoever. So all we needed to do was include a library. And as you can see, it says one space, one position, 2016. So 2016 is four digits, and set width was five. Three, so one, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. You see, everything is formatted in that fashion. Hopefully, you get the idea. There are many more ways of formatting this. In fact, the ways of formatting text output are infinite. There is no end to that. You can manipulate it in so many ways. Uh, it's hilarious. But this is, just, uh, this is just a basic example as we get into more and more complex stuff. So we're just going over some basic things as we move along. So I'm going to go ahead and bid you farewell here. And then we're going to go ahead and continue in the follow-up tutorial of this chapter.